everyone, my name is Amelia Westlink and I'm an epidemiologist at the Boston University School of Public Health. And I'm here today to talk to you about two really important issues that are on a lot of people's minds right now. Climate change and reproductive health. We are seeing this kind of record shattering heat happening more and more often. So what does this mean for reproductive health? We know that pregnant people and babies are vulnerable to heat. And we know that heat has been linked with a number of adverse reproductive outcomes, including preterm birth, poor fetal growth, stillbirth, and pediatric hospitalizations and emergency room visits. Heat may also be associated with higher risk of miscarriage. My research team recently published a paper showing that miscarriage risk was highest in the summer compared with the winter. Um, and although we didn't, we didn't directly measure heat in this study, so we can't say for sure that, that heat is driving the seasonal pattern, but that's something that we want to look at in the future. Exposures that can increase risk of miscarriage are particularly important right now in the wake of the overturn of Roe v. Wade. We are already hearing stories from around the country of people experiencing miscarriages and having delayed treatment or difficulty getting medications for their miscarriages, specifically because of abortion bans. Delayed treatment for miscarriage can cause hemorrhage, infection, and sepsis, all of which are life-threatening outcomes.